Hey everybody, Will here with another episode of Will Call, and today we're going to be talking about how you should never drink anything from Mexico. But first off, I want to talk about the gameplay that we're watching. This is a recent release on Steam, a game called Mercenary Kings. It plays a lot like Metal Slug, but it's improved because it has like an upgrade system and online play. The upgrade system is pretty cool. Uh, you can upgrade your gun in a variety of different ways with a stock or different types of bullets or different types of firing speed and it's really pretty cool. The online play does need a little bit of work which I'm sure will come because this is just an alpha build. It, right now it doesn't have the ability to specifically pair you up with your friends which I hope is going to be an addition soon um, because I'd love to do a video of this with the other Rad Couch in guys. I actually bought the four pack for everybody in Rad Couch and so hopefully that will be coming soon out for you guys so let's go ahead and talk about the topic this Christmas uh, I'm sorry last Christmas I bought my girlfriend a cruise for Valentine's Day for myself and her I figured it'd be something better than just watching a movie and make you know a box of candy something simple like that I wanted to go a little bit extravagant with it this is our second Valentine's Day together so I wanted to you know spice it up a little bit uh, the cruise left LA, which is where I reside, uh, and goes to Catalina and Ensenada. Um, Catalina was amazing. We did uh, we did kayaking and parasailing while we were there, which was a ton of fun. Uh, it was a super packed day. We were just constantly on the go, but it was a ton of fun. If you ever get the chance, I would definitely suggest visiting Catalina. It's a it's just really nice. The uh, kayaking was a ton of fun. We got to see a lot of sea life, uh, tiger sharks, sea stars, just tons of stuff while we were out on while, while we were out on the sea. Parasailing was a ton of fun. We actually, uh, I, I had actually been um, skydiving before, so it was pretty tame for me. The best way to describe parasailing is an initial shock. As, as you're leaving the boat you know going up into the air and as soon as you get up there it's very quiet it's probably the quietest place that I've ever been in my life and it's fantastic it's actually what a lot of skydiving is do despite in you know, everybody you know thinking that you are constantly falling to your death I mean I guess technically you are falling but you know the the without the parachute um that actually only lasts maybe a minute tops and the rest of your time your parachute's out and so you're pretty much floating to the ground gracefully and it's very quiet very serene very relaxing of all things so if you ever get a chance to do either of those i would suggest it it's very nice then we went to mexico let me start off by saying i don't like wine uh just not my Forte. I don't enjoy the taste of it. I'd much rather pick up a soda than a than a bottle of wine. But my girlfriend loves wine, and so I decided that we would go on a wine tasting tour. I figured she would love it, and I would at least be able to eat whatever snacks that they have. Usually, they accompany these things with like wines and cheeses and things like that. So I figured I'd at least have fun, and hey, with my girlfriend, you know, not going to be too bad. So. The uh, wine tour went on, uh, went to two different wineries. The first one was very business-like, I guess is a way to put it. Had large distillers and was very professional, I guess is, is the right word for it. Um, had a ton of fun there. I actually did drink some wine because I figured, you know, why not? If this is supposed to be the greatest wine, then, you know, I should certainly give it a shot. And it was okay. Uh, I'm sure that a lot of wine tasters would enjoy the wine. I just, if you, if you don't like something, you don't like something. So I, I enjoyed it. It was okay. Now, then the, the second place that we went to was a little bit more rugged, a lot more homey, I guess is a, is a way to put it. Uh, it was almost like a shack out in the middle of great fields. This is uh, the thing that they touted was that they were all natural and, and they, they didn't use any type of um, additives or anything along those lines I, I forget exactly the way that it went but that the, the humbleness of it was the selling factor it was by far the worst thing that I have ever drank it tasted like Ajax in my mouth and I absolutely hated it 
So after that was done, I figured, all right, fine. I get to go back to the boat, drink whatever I want to drink, get this nasty taste out of my mouth and be fine with it. Oh, I was sorely mistaken. I woke up the next day with the biggest stomach pain that I had had in a long time. I immediately had to run for the restroom, and that's where I spent the rest of the day. The kicker to this is that it was Valentine's Day. Uh, the cruise was on Valentine's Day week, so this was actually the Valentine's Day. And unfortunately, my girlfriend and I spent the whole day in the cabin because I was not uh, sure of myself. Uh, and my bodily, you know, movements um, to leave the restroom for more than five minutes throughout the whole day. It was terrible. I hated it, and I know that it was that wine. It it just tasted so bad. So um, that is why I suggest to never ever drink anything that uh, you're not 100% sure of what you're what you're drinking. Um, I'm not sure if they would classify what I had as. Montezuma's revenge, but it certainly felt like somebody was taking a revenge on my stomach so um, the uh, I felt bad because you know my girlfriend had to spend the day in the in the cabin with me But she was a trooper. She was super super okay with it um, and to be honest Cruises are not really all that they're cracked up to be the food is you know you can have as much food as you want on a cruise, but that doesn't say anything about the quality of the food. It just wasn't that appetizing. It just, it just wasn't that great. Um, and so we actually stayed inside the cabin and had room service, and we got ham and cheese sandwiches for Valentine's Day. And I have to tell you, those were the best things that we ate on that cruise. So I think that... Um, if, if you want to go on a cruise, we went on Carnival. It's It was fun. It, it was certainly entertaining. I don't think that I would do it again. But if you haven't gone on one before, I'd say give it a shot. You really don't. It, it's a nice vacation. And if you plan ahead of time, you can do things that you really had never done before. Like, uh, like I had not, never gone kayaking or parasailing before so it, it can be a ton of fun and opening up to new experiences we we passed on um four by fouring and and a couple of things uh, in lieu of the um, wine tasting but what i would personally suggest is if you're going to use a cruise go ahead and find out who they typically do their excursions with and yelp that because you will find out that a lot of stuff may not be as fun as the advertising um, leads you to believe so anyways um, we are still in um, mercenary kings to be honest I thought that I would be done talking by the end of this video um, pretty much as you've been watching the games pretty fun it's not too brutal upon you it is a difficult game um, as you've seen, I've died a couple of times, but honestly, I, I don't. You, you don't spawn too terribly far. I like the reloading mechanic. It's uh, pr the same one that Gears of War uses, where if you hit the reload button right in the same section, it will reload your gun faster. The, um, I as I mentioned before, I really hope that the online gets you know beefed up so you can actually team up with your with your friends. The things that I'm picking up is actually for a crafting system, which I mentioned earlier. You can upgrade your weapon to have different types of stocks, different types of barrels. And the way to do this is you have to have a certain amount of certain items. So these gold boxes that you're looking at right now, they actually have items in there. Like that's a rusty pin. This is fabric. So certain items like the, let's just say, a, a beef, beefed up stock. So there's less recoil or something along those lines um you would need five fabric and two cotton i guess i guess is a way to put it so the items that you get can be very <coughs> very important upon what you can upgrade your weapon with and from what i've seen they're random um so you kind of have to go with the flow there's there's nothing that you're really going to be able to do like uh, on the left here did i uh, I, I picked up a bit of glass 
I've, I'm not sure what that goes for, probably some type of scope. So the weapon system, the upgrade system is a ton of fun. For 15 bucks, it's really worth your money, especially if you love Metal Slug games. And definitely when they improve the online system to be with your friends, this game I would suggest for anybody who has you know, any type, any friends, I guess is the way to put it. Terrible, terrible phrasing, but yeah, I, that I would definitely suggest it. Um, there's a new game that I've actually been watching a, a lot of gameplay of that. I think I'm going to pick up, which is payday two. Uh, I didn't play the first payday game. I didn't honestly think that the game was going to do so well. I just, I, I guess I was wrong though, because there, there is a sequel and a lot of people do claim to have a lot of fun in that game um, and basically the premise of the game is that you are a robber uh, you know and you are pulling off heists like robbing jewelry stores or things along those lines um, so I think I'm gonna pick it up I believe it's 40 bucks don't don't hold me to that but I think that's what it is so that person that I just unlocked is the crafter and uh, we will go ahead and I'll show you the next level next time we talk so hope you guys enjoyed the video of Will Call, and I will see you guys next time.